Hey Jen, today we're going to take a look at Oro Los Angeles. This is a brand you guys have requested and they sent over a couple pairs. I've actually had the Chelsea's here on the crepe for a couple weeks and I've been really liking them. But I was impressed with the unboxing experience of the first one and wanted to make sure it was captured because uh, I, th I think you guys are still interested in unboxings. I don't know. So, Oro Los Angeles comes in all handcrafted boots in Spain and they typically have styles that are you know, typically uh, on a higher priced boot. And let's see here, I got a nice thank you card there. Nice package. And one of the nicer boxes. I think that's why you're seeing these at one of the pre more premium prices. Because you also have, you know, you have some of their boots that come in at 325 and then they go up to, you know, 400 depending on the material. You have a dust bag. Nicely wrapped in the brown. And what they did recently was they actually narrowed the opening on here to make this a little more snug uh, as you wear it. And here we have a nice leather sole, Blake Stitch. And let's get some beauty shots of these and I'll show you on the foot. All right, took them out. A little dirty now, but I like them a lot. One of the things that I noticed, and the company had mentioned this, is they redesigned the opening of the shoe to be really tight. And I really like the way it fits. It fits really snugly around my section between uh, the calf and the ankle, but gives a really nice fit, really nice tight fit. You know, I have my Taft boots, my Thursday boots, which I like. And I like the Chelsea nature of them, which is like slip on, sleek silhouette. But the fact that these have that really nice tight opening gives them a really good fit. And what you're getting here between Oro, so these are 425, these are 325, but you're getting very beautiful suede and with a calfskin lining, Blake stitch construction, so it is resolable. And you know, there's a leather sole in this one, crepe sole over here. The elastic feels really premium. The elastic feels twice as good as like my Thursday boots ones, and it does not feel like it will wear out. And you're just getting a gorgeous, sleek silhouette, nice construction all around from Oro. And as far as sizing go, I find that they run, you know, essentially true, which is like almost large. You know, I wear a 12 in my Allen Edmonds. I wear a 12 in my Greats Royales. Like all my minimalist sneakers are usually a 12 or European 45. And I find that the 12s in these is exactly right. And so, you know, should fit in line with your other well-made dress shoes. All handcrafted in Spain. And you can see it in the way that the toe is just a very sleek, rounded toe, and the way that the whole shoe kind of sits on your foot uh, just looks really nice. And it is a nice feature too that they have the pull tab on the back. I have a couple of Chelsea's that don't have the pull tab, but that essentially makes these slip on. You gotta get your foot in here, get it in, twist, and you're going right on. And so, Oro, Los Angeles, what they were really founded on, I found an interview with the CEO on like a Shopify blog, and he wanted like Yves Saint Laurent boots, but not the $1,000 plus boots. And so they set out to make shoes that were basically, you know, affordable, but from that space. And talking to a couple of cobblers, boots like Yves Saint Laurent and, and a few others, they can come as cemented construction. So you're paying a thousand plus dollars for boots with cemented construction. What you really want is that look and the premium materials that are used on those. And that is what Oro is delivering here. So they also have like exotic uh, animal skins and they have some crazy other designs within there. But if you're looking for just like a really great, simple, clean silhouette Chelsea boot, you have the, the darker one here with the leather sole, you have the crepe sole, and they start at 325, which I would put these right in line with the Taft Chelsea boots that I have, which are also in that price point. And so you go up a little bit from that like $200 Thursday into this little, little bit nicer suede, more premium feeling all around, and really nice finishing. So those are the Oro boots. If you have any questions, I'll be down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.